Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my new character that I'm playing currently in Grimdon. Now this one is a lot different than my summoner. As you can see there's three buttons instead of like 42. Um, and this character is a work in progress. I wouldn't really recommend you guys to play it. Of course you totally can do what you'd like. I just say that because I don't know how the character is going to scale. So this is a conversion build that we're going to play and I'll try to I'll try to just go through this as quickly as possible. Now, the one thing to note is if you want to see um, like the Grim Calc and Grim Dawn stuff for this character, or Grim Tools it is, I have all of that linked on my stream. You can see that uh, over there. I'll try to link it in the YouTube comments. It just might be delayed a little bit. So the first step is the weapon you want to use is a Old Ajax, which you can, I don't know where you'd find the recipe, but it's Old Ajax into Rock Ajax into Mythical Rock Ajax because the weapon rolls up to 54% uh, of physical conversion into lightning. So this is step one. So this is 46%, let's just use easier numerics and round. So as let's say it's 50% conversion. 50% conversion plus Hellsbane ammo, you can see there at the bottom, is 10% physical damage converted to lightning. So that's 60% conversion to lightning. Uh, in the Shaman area, we have a buff called Stormcaller's Pact which gives us 15% of physical conversion into lightning. So where are we at? 60, that makes 75% lightning conversion. Arcanist is built completely around elemental damage, and you get Iskandra's Elemental Exchange, which rolls up to a minimum of 25% at, well, it doesn't roll, but it's 25% at uh, 12 of 12. So that's pretty much where you get the 100% conversion. Now, elemental damage is split 33% cold, fire, and lightning, meaning this is like 8.3% fire, ice, and lightning. So we actually have like 75 plus 8, what is that, like 83, I can't do the math. It's like 82, 83% of our damage is lightning, which means we can scale lightning damage and we get a good ratio, like 83%, uh, or we can scale elemental damage, which is better for us um, because it scales the cold and the fire part of our build. So we use savagery as our main skill, um, Savagery has multiple stacks, so if you play PoE, it's kind of like Reeve. And we have currently Storm Totem for AoE clearing. If you are going to level this character, I recommend just play Arcanist, go Alexis Flash Freeze, and you don't have to do anything else in the game. This button, literally you click it, it one-shots everything on the screen except for like rares. Um, obviously it'll fall off later on, but just to get started on it. So. Storm Totem is also really good because it also chains off arcs, and it's, it's kind of like a spellcaster like setup, but since we are scaling lightning damage, we can use Storm Totem and it works out very well. Our Devotions is where a huge portion of our AoE clear comes from. So I started off, I believe it was uh, Quill plus Hawk, and then I respect Hawk after, but Quill and Hawk I think allowed me to get Kraken. Um, well, I think I had to also go into Eel to get Kraken, and then after Kraken, I believe I went Hydra, and then I went Cherry to the Dead. Um, and then I messed around with some other stuff. So, the big thing to note is that Ultos is where we get a huge portion of our AoE clear. Ultos gives us basically chain lightning um, on a, what's the cooldown on it? Like 1 point something seconds? 1.5 second skill recharge for a chain lightning that does a percentage of our main hand, which guess what, is also lightning uh, because it's fully converted. Um, and it has a huge lightning hit, and then electrocution, which will scale as well, which is like the sub part of lightning damage. And it also reduces their elemental resistance, which means we can drop Viper, which you'll use later on. So anyway, I want to go ahead and show you guys the clear. Oh, also there's Rowan's crown. I don't remember when I picked this up. So I have currently Ultos is on Savagery, Crown is on Storm Totem, and then uh, Reckless Tempest is on my Upheaval, which procs every time we crit. So here we go. Now this character is really squishy at the moment, um, but I do I do a pretty decent amount of damage, so I don't usually have to worry too much. Um, I'm not really trying to optimize my gear that much. I want to just kind of like hit ultimate, and then at that point in time I'll redo all my gear because it it slows you down quite a bit in Grim Dawn. Uh, if you, like, stop all the time to do that. So one thing to note about conversion scaling in this game is that 
if you convert in this game, it's the complete opposite of Path of Exile. In Path of Exile, when you convert, you can still scale. So like, say you are playing a fire build and you convert to cold damage. In PoE, you still can use fire damage to scale your character. In Grim Dawn, you cannot anymore. The second you are converted over, you have to use the new type of scaling. So the reason why um, I went with physical conversion is I can still use flat physical, like Mog Drogon's Pact, for example, gives me flat physical, and that flat physical scales into my elemental damage uh, and my lightning damage. On the con side, um, the one negative thing is that the Storm Totem does not scale off of flat physical because it's more like a spell. So we are just running through to the last boss, well, last boss pre-expansion in Elite. And I'll see if I can show you guys the different devotion procs. So this would be my Storm Totem, which you can see arcing around. You can have up to three of them down with my current setup. If you play like a Storm Totem build, you could have more. Uh, let me see if I can show you the Arc Lightning that procs. That's the Arc Lightning that you just saw that zapped around. That's the Ultos proc. So a big portion of our survivability comes from our ability to leech. So currently, <clears throat> currently I have um, leech via my amulet. It's just a legendary amulet that really is just used for the leech at the moment for my build, uh, which is really, really nice. You can realistically just spec into Fiend. Fiend is actually very, or is it Fiend or Ghoul, I'm thinking? This guy. Ghoulish Hunger is pretty OP. You can just spend one, two, three points and get 4% attack damage leech. And uh, the 4% is honestly like a pretty good amount by the time you get to where I'm at. It's definitely enough to like be a noticeable difference. A lot of my gear also is not optimized, so you, your damage is going to vary, obviously. Um, my gear is kind of just like super random because I was playing a physical character at the beginning to level up, and then I convert it over, so a lot of my gear is still physical, unfortunately. Was there a mini-boss here? Oh, that's right, it was the dude we just killed. Now, another reason why I decided to stick with Elementalist, I'm sure there's a, not Elementalist, sorry, Arcanist, is there are a bunch of different ways you can play this character, but it offered me the easiest route to conversion, and I was looking at a lot of percentage elemental damage gear, and a lot of elemental damage gear just so happens to be themed around Arcanist, um, which is really good because all of the plus to skills will work for uh, for that specifically. And any type of lightning damage is typically themed around Shaman, from what I've noticed. Uh, so that synergy was working out pretty well. The only thing is, most gear that I find seems to be for primal, primal Strike, and I'm playing Savagery. I could definitely, you know, modify some things and swap it out. But for right now, I'm going to stick with Savagery and see how far we can go with it. Okay, that really hurt, whatever the fuck that was. My boss damage might not be super good. Uh, bosses have extremely high defensive ability, and unless you're actually like properly geared for it, it may take a little while for me to kill him, so that's one thing to note as well.
cool. Mm, dagger. What's visage? Oh, actually, is that a helmet? Oh, uh, nah. All right. Let's see what big boy boss has for us. I can't tell if I'm hitting him. I think I am. Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah, nice. That's pretty smooth. Ar uh, yeah, Arcanist offers... I don't know if it's Arcanist or Arcanist, whatever. But uh, it offers a ton of really good buffs, which is cool too. So, like, Inner Focus gives us Spirit, which is elemental damage, uh, I believe, and Percentage Offensive Ability, which is, like, Crit Chance and Crit Damage, uh, and maybe Accuracy as well. Um, Iskandra's Elemental Exchange, on top of the Conversion, gives us Flat Elemental Damage, and I don't know what the Energy Leech does. Overload ends up giving us really... I think this actually helps a lot with our Clear. It gives us the Global Elemental Damage, but I think that the... Burn, Frost Burn, and Electrocution can proc off of, like, I think maybe my other Devotion, that, like, Arcs, which is really nice. Maven Sphere gives us damage mitigation, but reduces our damage a bit, but totally worth it. Um, Arcane Will gives us a ton of damage as well, and whenever our health drops below 70%, we have, like, crazy energy scaling, which we don't even need. Elemental Balance will be super good for damage later on, uh, and then, if we can, we're going to get Conversion as well. In terms of Shaman, I could go Wind Devils as well. I just didn't want to play around with them right now. But Wind Devils have this crazy uh, elemental damage reduction, well, elemental resistance reduction, which would be like a huge steroid for our build in terms of damage. And that's pretty much it for now. A lot of your sustain also can come from Feral Hunger because it does give you, um, like, let me see if I can show you. It's a little purple dart that you'll see. See that little purple one? This is green. This is my normal attack. The purple one is, is a leech one, which is really good because it gives, uh, if you keep leveling and I think up, upwards of like 30% of attack damage converted to health. How many legendaries can we get? Feels bad, man. What does this do? That looks poo-poo. That's a poo-poo. On the bright side, though, we do get a guaranteed legendary. And before it's something super good for the build. Fort Icon. Here we go. Level 10, Feral Hunger is 33% of attack damage converted to health and 160% main hand damage. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't want to see the cutscene. What did I just find? Wait, did I find a ring or an amulet? Oh, <gasps> an amulet with 72% lightning. Whoa! Okay, so I'm going to have to drop my leech and get it somewhere else because this gives offensive ability, max lightning res, CDR, plus the storm totem, and celestial judgment. Chance on crit, lightning rapidly strikes nearby foes, electrocuting them. Oh my! Oh my! Okay, boys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, nuts. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at Twitch.tv/pox. 
Remember, for the Grim Dawn guides and stuff, um, sometimes I can link them to my YouTube. I just forget a lot. So you can always just come on my stream and just type the commands that are displayed on the screen, and it'll pop up the most up-to-date character for you. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.